I am um, the executive producer at um, one of the public broadcasters of Denmark, the drama department, the in-house department. Been there for nearly 30 years and um, it fell on my shoulders some 20 years ago to uh, come up with ideas for long-running series, which were, was a new format to many public broadcasters around Europe. <coughs> so, um, and I haven't left that strand ever since. The, the real sort of breakthrough came with, um, with a very modern format called Taxa. Uh, and, um, and before producing that, I was allowed sort of to shop more or less around the world. And I ended up at um, the Fox Studios uh, and met uh, <coughs> the creators of some of the series which I really personally adored, NYPD Blue, uh, Hill Street, and um, quite simply realized that, um, and I suppose that is sort of my story, that we were doing it all wrong in Europe. <laughs> I began um, stealing the ideas of the American way, uh, and um, over a number of years we managed to um, produce along the American way as sort of a one vision uh, genre with the writer in charge. We had never seen in Denmark at that time writers at the editing room, never, never heard of. As you know, Europe is sort of a director-based, uh, but, um, but we changed that. The Killing, for instance, uh, is a product of a 10 years uh, of work of development. When we, uh, when we did um, <clears throat> the first modern long-running series tax in sort of the early 90s, we realized that Denmark was not equipped for writing so much television fiction. We quite simply did not have the writers educated for this. So writers for, the, for that series and its predecessor were sort of picked from novels or whatever. Um, and then we made um, a, 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 an agreement with the very well and f respected and famous Danish film school that we were allowed, so to speak, to begin mentioning television series uh, at the film school, at least at the producer's line and at the writer's line. Since then we have put that into a system which began 11 years ago now, and from the very first uh, group uh, being taught was a very dedicated writer who immediately, the day after he left school in May, in the month of May, uh, was employed as, um, as a, a, an episode writer for Taxi, early 90s. Later on, he created his first sort of comedy series, Nikolai and Julia, which won an international Emmy. And we now commissioned a new series from him called The Killing. So that sort of development and investment, because we do, uh, the co my colleagues, dramaturgs, uh, even people employed at the time, directors, uh, directors of photography, editors, we teach for free at the film school, quite simply, to have that energy of producing so constantly uh, during a television series transferred onto the school and the pupils so they eagerly can step out after two, three or four years and say, we want to commit ourselves to the television industry, not only to the film industry. We all know that uh, cop shows do travel easier than many other formats. But I think, and there is a momentum uh, of Scandinavian drama as there was for Scandinavian uh, plays of, of late last of, of the 18th century, 19th century. I think that uh, it's special. I think it's so Danish uh, in its sort of fascination part 
and then it's so international in its identification part. So, so I think the speciality of a show, the looks of a show, and a, a sort of, of the arena of a show, I think uh, the specialities do travel rather well these days in a world of so many mixed products. And we've just had this morning a, a session which says exactly the opposite. And I don't agree. I don't agree in products where you take a Spanish, French, German, Scandinavian actor, actress, and let them travel around and speak English all together uh, or dub. I, mean, I, I think you have to go for the speciality, as was proven with, uh, with the, girl, the Girl of the Dragon Tattoo as well, Millennium. This is Harriet. Someone in the family murdered Harriet for the past 40 years has been trying to drive me insane. Can I call you Elizabeth? I want you to help me catch a killer of women. We, are, we have a budget within the public broadcaster for, say, two series, a primetime series a year. So we would normally do sort of 10 one-hour episodes, uh, one half year and another series with 10 hour, one hour, 10 one-hour episodes. And just now, back home, we are into episode seven of uh, The Killing Three, and we're into episode four, I think, of Government, uh, the other show which was nominated for an BAFTA, BAFTA. So we all believe that uh, Killing Three will be the end of the day, uh, the writer, partly uh, for the main actress as well, and government uh, definitely will be uh, the end of, of, of the life of that show. Uh, the mix between studio and location, as you will see in, uh, in our award-winning shows, uh, we have been able to raise money so that we are slightly more on location these days. Uh, um, I think the audience, uh, to, to some extent, uh, is much more used to going to the cinemas these days and seeing all the new stuff. So you have to be strong on the visual and the production side. Uh, uh, which is a problem in Germany, <laughs> for instance. Uh, they still get away with a lot of studio-based, at least early primetime cop shows. Um, and you can tell a difference uh, when you see our shows. Um, the acting in, uh, in British uh, television is fantastic. I mean, Downtown Abbey is such a high, uh, highly rated success uh, in Scandinavia as well. And it's not that it's the writing, of course, because it's nostalgia, of course, but the acting is fab. And uh, we, have, um, we have chosen two as lo alongside the investment of, of, in the writing and the writer's room. Um, we have recognized that um, if we can raise the money, you can get the best acting quality of, uh, in our small country. <laughs> Thinking of the future, I mean, personally, my, my challenge these days, as it's been for the past five, six, ten years, is to sort of teach and encourage, uh, chaperone uh, the new generation. Uh, so the challenge within our small production company exactly on these days is that the uh, head of drama uh, left on 1st of April. I'm going to leave. So uh, Danish Broadcasting Corporation is uh, bringing in a new generation. Uh, uh, the producer uh, for Killing 123 has just been named new head of drama, um, Pio Bernd. And then we have brought in, um, uh, very recently over the past two years, uh, two uh, new showrunners, um, one of whom um, I taught 10 years ago at, uh, at the film school and uh, um, who has been with a, a film production company, now uh, moved to the in-house production company, and another esteemed uh, youngish uh, producer has been brought in. So uh, there is a new generation, and uh, that's a challenge.